What is going on guys? It is Venture Light here and today I'm back with another video and today well today we're gonna be talking about these past European football fixtures. Alright, let's talk about it. So lonely on the east side. I don't give a fuck. I keep it real, I'm not gonna let it slide. Now she see me up, she let me fuck one me to So let's get into it. I'm gonna be starting off this video by talking about the Europa League and then I'm gonna be talking about the Champions League right after. Alright, let's get started. Alright, well first things first. We're gonna be going over the Europa League final scores and then we're gonna be going into the bracket and like my opinions on it. So first off we have Shakhtar took the dub over Wolfsburg, Copenhagen taking a 3-1 aggregate dub, Manchester United taking a 7-1 aggregate dub, Inter and Sevilla both taking one-legged 2-0 dubs against the Spanish and Italian team, team being a Spanish team and the Spanish team being an Italian team, that's kind of funny. Leverkusen of course getting a win over Rangers, Basel getting 4-0 over Frankfurt and then Wolves just going on ahead 2-1 over Olympiacos. Judging by these fixtures, it can mean anything because some of them were divided between the last time they played, which is like before the restart of football. Some fixtures, they didn't even play two legs. So this these matches were definitely complex and anything can happen after this. Now let's look at the remaining teams and how they stand in the bracket. All right, so these are the brackets for the Europa League. So for the quarterfinals, we have Wolverhampton against Sevilla and the winner of that match will be playing either Manchester United or Copa Hagen and then on the other side we have Inter Milan against Bayer Leverkusen and Shakhtar against Basel. Let's start off on the top. So Wolverhampton against Sevilla. That's going to be a very tough game to call because Sevilla are a strong side. They're in the top four best Spanish teams according to La Liga table and they obviously did not go down without a fight against Roma which was a very good match. So I think that Wolverhampton and Sevilla it can go either way because Wolverhampton are strong but I don't know if they can just come on top of Sevilla. Definitely going to be rooting for Raul Jimenez right there. But we will have to wait and see. Now Manchester United against Copenhagen. I'm not saying Copenhagen is not a good team. I just think Manchester United is a better team. And I think they will get not an easy dub. But definitely a secure dub. To see if they would be going up against Wolves or Sevilla. And then on the other side we got Inter and Bayern. So Inter and Bayern. I think like this is really the, the battle for the final uh, spot in the Europa League, at least on the on this side of the bracket. In my opinion, both Inter and Bayer are stronger opponents than Shakhtar and Basel. Hey man, anything can happen, but this is just my opinion. Fuck you. So Inter and Bayer is definitely going to be a game to watch, so make sure you guys don't miss that. My personal opinion, I think that Inter are going to be right on top it's gonna be very back and forth i feel like it's gonna be like a 3-2 victory like it's gonna be decided on like one or maybe two goals i don't see it going farther than that in my opinion so i think inter and buyer are gonna be head to head and going up against each other to see who's the strongest opponent but i'm still gonna be going with my prediction from last video so if you guys haven't checked that out make sure to check it out link in the description subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i my prediction was inter so i'm gonna be going for inter in this in this little fiction and then Shakhtar against Basel. Uh, I think Shakhtar is going to take the dub. I think Shakhtar um, are going to be able to overcome Basel. Definitely a match to watch. Basically, the winners of Shakhtar and Basel will be going against the winners of Inter and Leverkusen. Manchester Cup in hand. The winners will go up against Wolves or Sevilla. So those are the Europa League brackets and fixtures that are going to be upcoming. If you guys are wondering about the dates of the games, Manchester and Copenhagen, Inter and Bayer Leverkusen are both going to be playing tomorrow, August 10. By the time I'm uploading this video, Shakhtar and Basel along with the Wolves and Sevilla are going to be playing on the 11th, which is Tuesday. Now we're going to be moving on to the Champions League. All right, so first things first, I'm going to be going over Friday's results and then Saturday's. And then I'm going to be going over the bracket, same thing I did with Europa. So, juventus Leon, what a game that was. Oh my goodness. These two teams were going back and forth. Leon got a very early penalty executed by Memphis Depay. What a panenka that was. And, but they were just and literally just able to hold on against Juventus. As you guys can see, they won by away goals. 2-2 was the final score. Leon passing. Many of you guys were definitely shocked i was shocked as well but never doubted leon for a second to be honest with you man city against real madrid 
this was a match to do or die Real Madrid genuinely and I mean this in the most unbiased way as a Barcelona fan genuinely could not keep up with Manchester City Manchester City were genuinely locking them up and Real Madrid were not able to keep up Manchester City took a secured and just dub 4-2 over Real Madrid now we're going into the one Saturday August 8th so first things first I just want to point out that Bayern is still killing London teams bro but one has it not literally in previous years beating Arsenal like 10-1 10-2 that one time in like 2016 it was and then again a couple years later Bayern ended up beating Tottenham 7-2 I think Serge scored a hat trick or a brace in one of the games I don't remember but they've done it again they beat Chelsea 7-1 and don't get me wrong like when I was watching this game I saw both starting lineups and I'm like okay Chelsea obviously threw I understand that a lot of their players are either going to transfers or are injured or something but sorry for y'all Chelsea fans maybe next year so we have Bayern advancing over Chelsea 7-1 and then Barcelona against Napoli what a game to watch in my opinion Messi got robbed in the second goal but that's just my opinion bro fuck you Barcelona actually ended up beating Napoli 3-1 which is I mean, it wasn't a shock to me. It's just like Barcelona right now are not in the best place that they've always been. I didn't necessarily think that this was going to be a blowout. I genuinely thought this could go both ways because of the way that Barcelona were playing. But Napoli on the other side were coming off a couple of losses and it was a losing Napoli. I did think that Barcelona were going to get a little bit of an upper hand, which they ended up getting and securing the dub of three one now let's look at the bracket i'm gonna be going um down the fixtures in order so manchester city leon is there a for sure winner i can confidently say that manchester city will come on top over leon but we never know leon did end up beating juventus with ronaldo anything can happen but manchester city are looking way too strong literally coming off pretty strong from the premier league and i'm not gonna say running circles but genuinely beating real madrid so my thoughts manchester city is gonna pass but hey man leon can happen now barcelona Bayern, which might be the most like tuned into game like for these next fixtures Barcelona Bayern have met in the Champions League in the past, but we all know how that happened in recent years. But this time, I don't know if it will be going the same way. I'm still going to be sticking to my predictions of Bayern winning the whole Champions League. So I'm going to be saying that Bayern is going to come out on top. Don't get me wrong. I am a Barcelona fan. I'm not going to lie. And I'm still going to be rooting for them probably. But I just think that Bayern are going to be the better side after the 90 minutes. I see it going in a two goal difference. Like a 3-1 maybe a 2-0 but it definitely is the match to watch you guys better make sure to get ready next up we have leipzig and atletico so leipzig and atletico is definitely going to be a very interesting match as in the previous both fixtures both of the teams going up against premier league teams being not the favorites of the fixtures but yet overcoming them leipzig beat tottenham to a pulp atletico beat liverpool the champions of the champions league so who is to say what's going to happen in this next fixture i think atletico will be able to get a slightly advantage just because leipzig lost one of their best players in the team and i just don't see leipzig being able to beat atletico in under 90 minutes without timo werner so that's why i'm going to be giving atletico the upper hand in this situation the next fixture we have is atalanta paris don't get me wrong do not sleep on atalanta do not bro this is a strong atalanta this atalanta was the most scoring team in the italian league the goal difference between first and second place was a good 17 goals <laughs> So do not sleep on Atalanta. Don't get me wrong. Ilicic is going through some tough times. And I hope he can come back and be at his 100%. Be able to play at the Champions League with Atalanta. And maybe securing a dub over PSG. Now, easier said than done. Am I right? PSG is a feared opponent. PSG have players like Andres Gay. 
They have players like Mario Cardi. They have players like Julian Draxler. They have players like Pablo Sarabia. There, I freaking forget to mention Mbappe and Neymar. Like PSG is a team not to underestimate, but Atalanta is not a team you should underestimate either. This is gonna be a very good match. Who do I think is gonna win? In my opinion, I think that PSG has the players to outperform Atalanta now. I don't know how well PSG players are going to perform after being literally out of rhythm for the past months. They have been coming back and playing some friendly games, but they are friendly games. The difference between playing a friendly in like the second division of France and playing the most scoring Italian team this year in the Champions League for the fight to go into the semi-finals is a different game. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that PSG is going to lose, but I'm not saying they're not going to win either because I genuinely don't know where this can happen. Now, one thing I wanted to mention, but looking at these uh, brackets and stuff, the way that the Champions League is made right now, we are looking at a possible Barcelona PSG final. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, like, do, am I saying that's going to happen? No, I'm just saying we are looking at a possible very unlikely a possible barcelona psg champions league final now that would be so cool to watch just to see like barcelona and like psg like fight in the champions league neymar against his former club neymar will be trying his best to prove him wrong and barcelona will be trying the best to prove him wrong but oh my goodness what a match that would be but that is just a specific situation that requires a lot of circumstance. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like and make sure to let me know in the comments. Follow me on Twitter, trying to also talk about sports on my Twitter and stuff like that. So if you guys want to engage through there, that would be awesome. I have a planned video on like transfer rumors and like confirmed transfers um, made like this upcoming week because of all the new transfers that, are, that have been coming out. But that's going to be a separate video just focusing on transfers because right now the window's open and I'm going to be making a couple of videos of that. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to leave a like and let me know. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. I've asked to leave a like three times. All right, well, subscribe and I'm out. Peace.